Hi, everybody. Hibiscus Moon here with hibiscusmoon.com. And today I want to talk to you about how to make your own crystal infused healing water. It's easier than you think. Um, I know there's a lot of Instagram posts about this and amazing gem water bottles and all that kind of stuff. So I want to talk about what's so amazing about drinking crystal infused healing water, how you can go about making it yourself, different kinds that are available out there, even for purchase or the bottles that are out there. I don't sell any of these bottles. I'm not a sponsor of any of these bottles or anything like that. I just want to give you my real experience behind it and uh, a lot of people are asking me about these things so i just want to talk about it all right so hey jj my best friend from all the way back in sixth grade is here oh my gosh i'm so excited hi michael hi judy we've got lot, several judys in here hello stacy all right so let's go ahead and get started first of all have you had a gem infused water, crystal infused water, gem elixir. Have you had one? Have you made one? Um, give me some hearts if you have. And I want to tell you to stay to the end because I'm going to do a little fun unboxing. I got something recently in the mail that I think you might enjoy seeing. So I'll show you that at the end. Okay. And if you would please share this out into your newsfeed for me. If you know of people in your realm, in your world who are interested in um, what's happening with my shirt here, it's falling down. Um, interested in gem waters, crystal infused waters, healing waters, that kind of thing. Go ahead and click share, all right? And let's see, if we get to 100 shares, I know we always do, so I know you guys can do it, we'll do the unboxing. How does that sound? Okay, does that sound good? Terry Lynn saying, or Terry, I'm sorry, says VitaJewel. I have my experience with VitaJewel, yes. Hey Nathan, good to see you. All right, so there's some people talking about different kinds of bottles in the comments. All right, um, also some of these things um, I wanna talk about um, here is one thing I notice a lot happening lately, and I think it's because of Facebook's algorithm and just the way things are going is um, a common theme I keep seeing coming by in comments is, I missed this, I didn't see, I wished I had learned about it because I posted this morning on Instagram about like, the aftermath in my office, which you can't see right over here, looks like crystals exploded because of my class that I did last night, part one of Crystal Savvy. And I had someone say, again, I didn't know anything about it. How come I didn't hear anything about it? Well, here's the deal, guys. I'm not posting much on Facebook except doing these live streams, if you haven't noticed. Um, I do just post some, you know, like graphics and things like that, but not nearly as frequently as I was before. The live streams seem to be what gets the most engagement from you all and that you're connecting with and that you're enjoying. So I'm doing the weekly live streams at on Wednesday at one o'clock. Okay. So um, if you want to know about what I'm doing, classes that I'm putting out, things that are happening, things that you didn't know about, free events, you need to get on my newsletter. All right, you got to get on there. That's the way you're going to hear about it. And make sure that it's not going into spam or your promotions folder in Gmail. All right, you have to go into your promotions folder if you're in Gmail and move it over into your regular inbox. There's nothing I can do about that. If you want to be getting on that list so that you're not missing anything that I'm doing or anything that's going on, go to hibiscusmoongift.com. Hibiscusmoongift.com. Here, I'll put, it, um, I'll put it up here at the title. So all you have to do is click on it. And it's called hibiscusmoongift.com because you get a pretty awesome gift when you subscribe to my newsletter. Okay, so that's how you stay in the know on what is happening in our crystal community world. All right, so there's that. All right, let's jump into what I'm talking about today, how to make your own crystal infused gem water. I've got some amethyst water with me here right now. Okay, so today I'm calling it crystal infused water. Usually I call it a gem elixir, just because that was a term that was kind of popular at the time and I just got into the habit of using that term, but these are called anything from gem essences, elixir waters, 
um, crystal essences, healing elixirs, gem water, gem tonic. There's so many different words for it. Um, about eight or seven years ago, I even had an entire e-kit product around gem elixirs. Um, I've since retired that, but I think we might come out with a class or something like that. I don't know. You guys let me know. I might re pull that out and retool it um, because it is a very popular topic right now. The first thing I want to say that I notice a lot of people missing the boat on this when they're talking about gem elixirs, crystal healing waters, crystal infused waters. I've even seen books come out on this topic and this part of it is totally not discussed. And that is being cautious about what crystals you're putting in your water, okay? If I had to tell you two categories to stick with, I would say stick to the quartz family. So that would be your clear quartz, amethyst, citrine, rose quartz, and smoky quartz, okay? Because that is just silica. We have silica in our bodies in mass quantities. It's good for us and silica is fine, okay? Not toxic in the least. So any of the quartz family, totally safe. Make sure that it's a tumbled stone, whatever stone you're putting in your water. Don't put a rough crystal or a point in your water because it can easily break and shard off and leave like little pieces. It's just as dangerous as drinking little shards of glass. You don't want to do that. The tumbled stones, gently put it in the cup or glass that you're going to be using. Don't drop it in because it can break also. It can also break the bottom of your glass. I've had that happen. Gently put it in. Make sure you wash it well with soap and water first because even if it's, you know, the best, most pristine, tumbled stone, crystal, non-toxic and all that, you don't know what processes were used in the lapidary process, in tumbling the stone, what might be on the outside of it. You know, when they tumble it, they put all kinds of sands in the tumbler to erode the stone. So there's all kinds of stuff. Plus, these come from Mama Earth, and they're in the dirt, and we don't know what's in the dirt. I mean, dirt is dirt, and you could probably eat dirt if it wasn't contaminated by man. So you want to make sure you clean them well, all right? The other category that you can stick to that is really safe is the calcites. Any color calcite, from clear to blue to green, yellow, honey, orange, red, they come in all colors. And um, except, I think there's a purple, but it's very rare and hard to get. But anyway, you get the picture. Um, make sure it's tumbled, wash it first. Calcites or quartz, those are fine. There are crystals that are not of those families that are not safe to put in your water unless you know your geology well. Um, if you're looking up the stones and you know exactly what elements are in them, some elements can be unstable and some may not, but I always prefer to err on the side of caution. If there's any element in there that could possibly be toxic, I don't put it in the water. If you want a good, pretty comprehensive toxicity list on minerals, just go to Google or go to my website, hibiscusmoon.com. In the search box, type in toxic crystals and my toxic list will come up for you, okay? It's certainly not 100% comprehensive because there are over 4,500 minerals, new ones being discovered all the time. Um, but it's a pretty good list. And the other thing is that we want to be mindful of is does the crystal have an iron content in it because if it does it's going to rust okay so if you've got like something like hematite which has a good iron content in it if it's real hematite there's a lot of fake hematite out there um, but if it's real hematite it might start to rust it will start to rust if it's black tourmaline that has an iron content it can start to rust the other thing that you want to be mindful of I know there's so many cautions is if you're concerned with the aesthetic quality of the crystal, you have to make sure that the crystal is a Mohs hardness of five or more. The best way for you to figure that out is get yourself a good crystal reference book. I highly recommend the Book of Stones. It gives the scientific information as well as the metaphysical information and you look up the Mohs hardness. If it's not at least a five, don't put it in your water because what will happen is the water will begin to slowly, not quickly, it's not gonna melt, but slowly dissolve the crystal away. So if you have like selenite, for instance, yeah, it can stay in the water for seven days, but once you finally pull it out, you're going to notice the luster is going to be really dull. 
dulled out because the water has started to dissolve the selenite, okay? So those are all the precautionary tales. Let's get into it here. Um, so how to choose stones for your crystal elixir. So you might be like, I don't know what, water, what crystal to put in there. How did she know to put amethyst in her water? Well, I've experimented with this for many, many years. I know I love my amethyst water to the point that I really have like a crazy, like what's the term I'm looking for? You millennials have words for this kind of stuff. I don't, but it's like a total tricked out under the cabinet water system. It's gem elixir on tap. You guys have heard me talk about this before. So I really don't need to do this stuff because my water system does it all for me. It removes the fluoride, it removes the chlorine and any other junk that the local water company has put into my water. And it, it um, reverse osmosis is the water and then it remineralizes the water and then it vortexes the water. Okay. You might know how important that is. And then it actually, I have crystals that I personally chose put under a copper pyramid and then had put into my water system. I have clear quartz, amethyst, um, and, uh, blah, 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 and magnetite for re-energizing my water with the crystals that I had in mind. So the things to ask yourself when you're choosing what water do I, of what crystals do I want in my crystal infused healing water, go with your intuition. I'm always saying go with your intuition because there's a reason your intuition is pulling you towards those crystals. Okay, I'm going to expand on that a little bit more, but I just want to check in here and see what you guys are saying in the comments and see if you have questions. So, and you guys are talking to each other. I love when this crystal community gets in with each other and you guys communicate with each other and you're you're making friends and I love that. Okay. Let's see. I thought calcite was low on the Mohs scale, not good to put in water. Um, I'm pretty sure calcite is it a six. Let me see. Always, you know, don't be afraid to use your reference guides. Let's look it up real quick. Here's that book of stones I was telling you about. And that should be, that's like, I love this book because it covers both the science and the metaphysical. Calcite. Remember, you know, if I'm going on a lower Mohs hardness, it doesn't mean the crystal is going to melt away into nothing. It's just, are you okay with the aesthetic of it changing a little bit? Yeah, it is a three on the Mohs hardness. But like I said, I've submerged them for seven days or more. They don't disappear. It's just like I have an orange calcite here. This has been in water many, many times for over a week. It may not be as lustrous as it once was, but calcite isn't that lustrous anyway. It kind of has like a waxy kind of um, luster to it. So it's fine. It's not going to disappear into nothing, and there's nothing toxic in calcite. So it's totally okay. All right. Um, Paige asked, is it a reverse osmosis system? It It is, but it's not just that. It's so much more than that. It's called a pristine hydro system. And again, I'm not sponsored by them. I've recommended it so many times, but I'm going to give you a warning. All right. If you've moved a couple times, like I have, it could affect the system. I had to replace several parts on it. It's expensive to change out the cartridges on it. I never change out the crystals. Um, I've had it for five years now and I almost was at my wits end with it and ready to toss it and start with a new system because the other part of it is you have to have a good plumber who knows their way around a complicated water system. I had to go through two, three plumbers to get it hooked up correctly. And then in the end, I ended up having to get down under the sink and fixing it myself. I know quite a bit about plumbing an RO and complicated water system now because I had to get on the phone with the plumber over in California from the pristine hydro system and take pictures and hook things up and disconnect. And then I discovered things on my own that he didn't know about. So I'm like, so do I get my plumber's license now? <laughs> I should. Okay. No, I'm not, no disrespect to plumbers. You guys know your stuff, but there are some out there that aren't experienced in these kinds of systems. They know their area of expertise and it's not very common for someone to have a system like this. So make sure you have someone, there are some plumbers that have certifications in um, water systems, drinking water systems. So look for someone like that. It can be a bit of a headache. So 
Just saying. This, doing a stone plopped in the water is much simpler than what I do, but I like having my Gem Elixir on tap all the time. All right, a lot of people asking me what system. Again, it's a pristine hydro water system. They have several different versions. I have the under the sink um, version of it. Okay. Um, Judy said my bottle has a separate compartment for the crystals. Yes, we're going to talk more about those bottles at the end. Okay, name of the book again. I just showed it, The Book of Stones. Okay, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. She said I bought mine from Glacé, so the point is fixed in the base. Yep, we're going to talk about those. Katie said, I have a picture that takes out those things. It wasn't cheap, but it's worth it. Yes, those are. Now, does those picture remineralize, though? Because reverse osmosis water is just dead water. You don't want dead water. You want living water that is remineralized, that is pH balanced. So those pitchers that take everything out, what are they putting back in? Okay, that's the problem I had when I looked into that. Okay. Juanita, hello. She said, you're amazing in explaining. Thank you. Lynette said, you're so amazing and knowledgeable. Oh my gosh, you guys are going to make my head inflate. It's not even going to fit in the camera here. Thank you. <laughs> um, Cheyenne said, Shungite is also great for water, takes out heavy metals. Well, Cheyenne, I do like Shungite for water. I have a blog post all about my take and the scientific background behind Shungite. Um, if you go to hibiscusmoon.com and in the search bar, type in Shungite, you'll see it. Unfortunately, though, it does not take out the heavy metals. I did some testing and the heavy metals were still there. If you think about it, what is the scientific reasoning behind how shungite could neutralize those heavy metals? It's pretty much 100% carbon and it doesn't neutralize the heavy metals. I know some, some places claim that, but if you do some empirical scientific investigation, you'll see that's just not the case. Unfortunately, I wish it did. All right, let's continue on with what I was talking about. So using your intuition to choose the crystals for your crystal infused water. So what stone or stones are you drawn to the most? That's your intuition giving you a message. What stone or crystals do you love having in your environment? Or what colors do you seem to gravitate towards in the crystals and stones? There's a scientific explanation behind the colors you're attracted to as well. I've done some scientific investigating on that, and it turns out that it matches up with the minerals that you're deficient in in your body. Isn't that crazy? All right, so maybe when you're holding a certain crystal, you might feel really good, and maybe you pay attention to how, you, how it makes you feel on an emotional level. That's your intuition communicating to you that this is a crystal you should work with, okay? Now, one thing I want to say is I really notice a difference in water, crystal-infused water that is created with the direct method, okay? That means the crystal touching the water. There are some methods, there are some bottles so sold on the market where the crystal is in the glass bottle, but it doesn't actually touch the water. We call that the indirect method. And some people swear that the indirect method is just as good as the direct method. But I've noticed that the gem elixirs are much stronger, more potent, more effective when you use the direct method, where it's in direct contact with the water. Okay? So, and again, you that's when you want to use the caution big time. What's good, the pro with the indirect method is you don't have to worry about the toxicity, you don't have to worry about the oxidation, the rusting, you don't have to worry about the Mohs hardness. So using the indirect method where it's not actually touching the water, I think, and I've asked different crystal bottle companies to take that into account and create bottles that had crystals inside that maybe were toxic, that we cannot use the direct method with. And they have yet that I've seen to go that route. Because to me, there's no point in putting crystals that are safe in a bubble and separating it from the water and reducing the potency of the gem elixir or the crystal infused water. Do you get what I'm saying? Okay, so I asked one particular company, okay, that's this bottle's beautiful, I love it. Since you're already putting crystals in the bubble, 
I don't love that, but what we can do is put toxic crystals in there, things that we shouldn't be putting in our direct contact with our water so we can get the benefit of you doing that. And they were like, yeah, yeah, maybe, uh, I don't know. And basically they're selling bottles left and right just because of the sheer beauty of it. But I'm all about how effective is it? How effective is it? Have you tested with a direct method and an indirect method? How many of you have done that? I'm all about the how, the why, and the empirical evidence. That's what I'm known for is the science behind it, okay? All right, so just giving you some general ideas on why do I pick amethyst for my water. Amethyst is very calming. It helps to balance my third eye. It connects me to my divine higher self and brings more awareness and reminds me about my spirituality throughout my day, okay? It's also spiritually protective also. Okay, so it can promote calmness. Your third eye is all about intuition, so it can strengthen your intuition. Okay, so it's all about that. So you can see why I really like amethyst, right? Clear quartz is like an all around good crystal in every area. If you can't figure out, you can't decide, you don't know what to do, just go with clear quartz. It's the easiest one. It's really great for bringing clarity to situation also. And you'll actually notice a taste difference in your water. Just do an experiment. Take two glasses of water, leave the other one alone. That's your control, okay? In science, the one that we do nothing to is the control. And in the other one, put a clear quartz tumbled stone. Leave it in there for at least 10 minutes and then taste test those two waters. Maybe get someone who's completely unbiased, blindfold them, don't tell them what you did and tell them to taste both waters and which one tastes better. They're going to notice a marked taste difference, a sweeter taste in the one that has the clear quartz. Okay. And if you want to have like a really focused work day, let's say you could put carnelian, which is also silica quartz stone. Okay. Carnelian orange that boosts your energy your creativity, and then put a clear quartz in it as well. So you're going to have a combo there, clear quartz and carnelian. The clear quartz is going to boost your focus and clarity for that day too. So that's a good combination to bring with you to work. All right, another one, um, rose quartz water. I love rose quartz water. It is good for all kinds of love, compassion, kindness, um, if you need a little bit of help with forgiveness um, or just a general sense, good feeling of love and being in a safe place. Rose quartz is a great one for that. Okay, now let me see what's going on. And remember, again, like I said at the beginning, if you guys want to be up on what's going on, when I'm doing different events, different things, because those comments keep coming up, I'm not posting a lot in Facebook. So if you're waiting to see stuff in your newsfeed, notifications and stuff, other than Facebook ads, which I do use, um, a lot of you, if you've seen an ad once for me before, won't see one again, you're not going to get notifications of me posting. You've got to be subscribed to my newsletter. Okay, because I keep hearing I didn't know about this. How come I didn't hear about this? Those of you on my newsletter, you even get stuff that nobody sees, like behind the scenes, backstage pass kind of stuff. You guys know, like I recently did my Bisbee turquoise mine thing. That was totally under the radar. Only those on my newsletter heard about it. It's not even visible on YouTube. It's unlisted. So if you want to get on that newsletter list, you're going to get a beautiful gift too when you subscribe. Go to Hibiscus Moon Gift dot com again hibiscusmoongift.com so you are in the know in the crystal community you know what's happening you know what's going on all right let me see what questions you have darla said can we put herkimer quartz in water yes because it's quartz herkimer diamonds are quartz they're not diamonds so darla you named it correctly well it's actually called herkimer diamond but they're not diamonds and people get confused but it is a quartz so totally safe yes make sure you wash it first and be mindful of those double terminations on herkimer diamonds they're usually beautiful so you have to be very gentle when you put it in the water and you're banging it around in, in any kind of glass container. I don't like plastic. Glass is the way to go, all right? 
Um, so let's talk about, and let me see if there's any other questions. I, I didn't really answer. I said I was going to answer questions and I didn't. <laughs> I'm good like that, right? Okay, Cheyenne, hey, I also write a positive note on the glass and a crystal in it. What about a copper pitcher? Okay, Cheyenne, that is great using affirmations a la Dr. Emoto. I love that technique. It's great because water is so highly programmable that writing an affirmation of some sort and putting it on the water to program the water is a great thing to couple with your crystals. So I like that. A copper pitcher, it depends. For some people, copper can be toxic for others like myself because i've tested i'm actually deficient in copper um usually copper is listed as a toxic mineral because i think for most people you need it in very minuscule amounts and going just a little bit over can be too much but for me i'm deficient so i could totally handle a copper pitcher but unless you've tested yourself medically scientifically blood tested or in other ways there's other ways um i wouldn't just go for it i wouldn't go all out with the copper pitcher because you don't know it could be too much okay some people are saying the bottles are really expensive yeah the bottles are expensive because it's difficult for them to do what they're doing right um so rightfully so but this ain't expensive at all this is super easy and cheap Jackie said, my bottle is a direct method as the point is open and not in a bubble. So I'm assuming you're using the glacé bottle. Glacé, it's spelled G-L-A-C-E-E, -E, I believe it is, I think. Okay, Ellen said, what the hell is she talking about? <laughs> Ellen, did you see the title? How to make your own crystal infused healing water. That's what we're talking about. Ellen, I love you. All right, so... The glass A bottles are my favorite. Why? Because it's the only bottle I've seen out there that uses the direct method, okay? However, I've broken my glass A bottle twice. And I've had two separate bottles and I've broken both of them. I decided I don't wanna go for a third right now unless they wanna send me one, I don't know. Um, but I, I decided no, not doing it because I've realized I'm kind of rough. I go to the gym or to the, you know, to do my bar class or just out for the day. I'm always bringing my water with me. I like it to be glass, if at all possible. Now I'm using those steel bottles and they're not as pretty. And um, when I put a crystal in it, it's really loud and it knocks around. The glass A bottles are great because they have a point that's fixed at the bottom and it uses the direct method. They give you a neoprene cover, but it only goes up two thirds or three quarters of the way. And what happened the last time was I was out on my deck and I dropped the bottle and it fell on the shoulder where there was no neoprene safety cover and it cracked all the way down. So goodbye glass A bottle. And they're like $80 a pop plus shipping. So you can see why I don't wanna just keep buying new ones all the time. All right, um, then there are the bottled waters that Okay, for any of you guys listening out there who, who own the mines where these bottled waters, waters are created, there's one in Australia called Madame Dry um, that my new friend um, Jess Lively just told me about, and it's made in Australia. They take the water from um, aquifers that are where the water is infused with the crystals. So I believe one of them was a rose quartz water and then they, they use the full moon energy and they further charge the waters up and then they bottle them in glass bottles and ship them. However, I went to order a case of 12 bottles. It was like $45. I was like, not, not too bad. They don't ship to the US. <laughs> so none of that for me. Then there was a tourmaline mine in Maine, and they actually have a lot more than just tourmaline in the aquifer. There's a lot of different crystals in the water, and it sounds like a beautiful spring to drink from. It has all these different crystals. Mama Earth created the gem elixir herself, best ever, um, but they sell in plastic bottles. That's how they ship, and heck no, I don't want no plastic bottled water shipped to me in a hot truck right? No, thank you. Um, when I was mining for crystals in Arkansas, the, um, what's the name of the mine? Oh, come on. It's not coming to me. Oh, Jim and 
I can't remember the name of the mine, in Hot Springs that I was mining at, one of those bigger mines, they also bottle their Arkansas crystal um, water from the mine. And you can drink it right there, and it's the most beautiful water ever. It tastes amazing. But they bottle it in plastic bottles and they ship it. And I'm just not going to go for the water that is shipped in a black glass bottle or glass a plastic bottle. I'm sorry, because I'm sure you guys all know about the problems with that. And I hope you're not drinking out of any water out of plastic bottles at all. OK, um, people wonder why we're all walking around with so many autoimmune diseases and cancers and everything way more than people had just 100 years ago. It's the junk that we do in our society. It's this stuff that, if you think about it, what did people not do 100 years ago? And just cut it out of your life. Don't do it. <laughs> now, they didn't talk on laptops, and that's part of the problem. We're all, like, bathing in Wi-Fi and EMR and all that kind of stuff. But did they drink out of plastic bottles? No. Did they get most of their water from a natural spring? Yes. So trying to get your water as close to natural as close to living as possible is the best thing for you, okay? If you're saying hell yes right now, give me a heart and give me a share, please. Let people know in the news feed. Oh, and I said I was going to do something if we got to 100 shares, so let me check it out. I can't see from this screen where we are. And I'm gonna do an unboxing for you right now. And you can tell me what you think. Okay, come on, Facebook, load, load, load. How are we doing on the shares, guys? Can you see? Do we get to 100 yet? If not, I'll answer some more Q&As until we get there. Oh, almost, we got 82. We get to 100, I'll do an unboxing, show you something pretty cool. All right, let's do some more Q&A. Now, I don't mind a plastic straw or something like that, you know, because it hasn't been sitting in the water in heat. It's the heat that pops off those plastic molecules and then you're ingesting them, okay? So when you think of going to the grocery store and buying a case of Aquafina water um, that are in plastic bottles, how did that get to the grocery store? A truck, right? Where did that truck originate from? And did it drive around? Did it, did it get hot? Yeah. So think about that. Oh, you guys are Sharon, Sharon galore. Any other questions? Let's see, Cindy, thank you everyone so much. I'm so grateful to you. I'm so fortunate to have like this passionate crystal community here that we've built together. Cindy said, I've been making elixirs for my clients to take home after their session. It's made with spring water I get down the road from my house. Hallelujah to you, Cindy. Oh my gosh, that's probably the most amazing water ever. Do they go gaga over it? I'm sure they do. Cheyenne said, yes, glass only. Yep, that's the way to go. Carrie said, make sure you share publicly. Oh, yeah, if you guys have your settings so that everything you do is private, we're not going to see the shares. Um, so make sure that your settings are set to show your shares publicly so I can see your shares. I know most of you have it set to public. So, okay, let me refresh and see where we're at. How we doing? Can you guys see the shares too? I think you can. Oh, 120, we are there. You guys are the best. Oh my gosh, all right. So, went to the P.O. Box the other day and my hubs picked this up and I was like, oh cool, who sent me this? And exciting when I see fragile on the box. So I opened it up and what I got was a beautiful note. This comes from Gemstone Well. And they sent me this because they saw that I had broken my second glacé bottle. Um, and they said, I've enjoyed following you and learning from you for the past few years. Please enjoy this elixir to go bottle my husband and I created. It's our gift to you. Blessings, Aaron and Chris. And P.S., this is pretty cool. If it ever breaks, let us know and we'll send you a replacement glass. They're covered by a lifetime warranty. 
Oh my God. Now that's standing behind your product, man. Because when I broke my glass A bottle the first time, I let them know and I got it. I kind of have to say I got the runaround. I wasn't looking for a free bottle, but I got a runaround as to why it happened and all of that. And I was like, just I, I'll take another bottle, you know? And um, so cool, paid for another bottle, got another bottle. I'm not willing to do it a third time because I know how hard I am on these things. All right, so I like that they offer a lifetime warranty. I did have the VitaJewel bottle. Um, I've had several products from VitaJewel because they've been generous enough to gift me with a lot of their product, okay? So another generous company right there. But again, they don't use the direct method and I did end up breaking my pitcher and my wand. Uh, <laughs> I just you know, if you're using this stuff on an everyday basis it needs to be practical okay if you're just using it for show and being very delicate with it and you have no kids and I don't have kids but I have nieces and nephews and I'm rough on this stuff and I bring it to the gym okay so I need it to be practical anybody else raise your hand and tell me if you need it to be practical too so to fit into our lives practical in a practical way and to be effective and potent, I'm looking for certain things, all right? I'm looking for certain criteria. All right, so here's the deal. Elixir to go crystal bottle. Now, it's got the neoprene cover. Here's the problem for me. Again, the shoulder is exposed, all right? So if they're watching, I would request, can you guys make a cover this looks like a really nice cover that goes to the neck, that covers all the glass, okay? Now let's pull this off. All right, here's the other thing. I got excited at first because there's a glass partition here and I thought there were little holes in it, so this could become the direct method, but they're not. So this means you could use this bottle for the indirect method. So I could put crystals in here that are potentially toxic. It will never touch the water. Okay, so you unscrew the bottom, you put your crystals in, and they sent me crystals. They sent me two batches of crystals. Oh, wait, no, three batches. I didn't even open this all the way. All right, this first batch is rose quartz and clear quartz. All right, and there's a lot of them. Probably more than will even fit in the bottle. But again, this would be more effective if it was, I'm sorry, I'm far away from the mic, if it was the direct method. So I'm wondering if, you know, um, if Gemstone Well, I had to look up the name, if they'd be willing to redesign or have two versions of the bottle, direct method and indirect method. What do you guys think of that? Do you think that's a good idea? Let me know in the comments. Do you think that's a good idea? All right. So that was one set. Then they sent, okay, this is a prosperity set. They don't say that, but it's um, citrine, blue appetite, and clear quartz. All right, then there's two more accessories here. So I like this, I like this. I'm just asking for a couple of tweaks. All right, this is black tourmaline and clear quartz. All right, now this is good for indirect method because there's some elements in black tourmaline, we won't get into all of it. I believe it's aluminum um, that we don't want direct contact. So this works well with this bottle. And then this, I love. I love this. Okay, another neoprene sleeve. I didn't open it yet, but let me go ahead and open it here for you guys. So you can dress your bottle up in a different dress if you want to. For those of you that like doing that. It's purple with a flower of life on it. How cool is that? And they sent me all this as a gift, so this was really nice. Again, though, I'm going to request it's the same height as this one that they make new ones that go all the way up the shoulder. But you know what? If the bottle does break, lifetime warranty, they'll send you a new one. I mean, crazy, right? Now, let me see if it says the price on. Okay, here's the prices, guys. The Elixir to Go Gemstone Water Bottle, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just doing this because they were nice enough to send it to me is $49.99. So it's a lot cheaper than the Glacé bottle. But like I said, there's pros to the Glacé bottle that this bottle doesn't have. Um, the additional gemstone set 
The black tourmaline and clear, black tourmaline and clear quartz was $16.99. The citrine and blue appetite clear quartz is $16.99. Um, and I guess the rose quartz and clear quartz comes with the bottle. I'm not sure because I didn't go in and buy this myself. But remember, you can put your own crystals in it and whatever you want because no toxicity issues to worry about. The premium flower of life colored neoprene sleeve is $11.99. So I like it. And, you know, if they could just tweak it up a little bit to my specs, it would be my perfect bottle. Okay. So let's see if you guys have any more questions and then we will hit it for the day. Ah, wow. You guys are commenting away over here. All right, Debbie. Hey, Debbie. She said that's a lot cheaper than many I've seen. Yeah, it is. It's a good, and they're offering a lifetime warranty with it in case you break it. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. Yeah, isn't that nice, Cheyenne? Some companies know how to do their marketing. They know who to watch. They know who might be influencing someone in a community, you know, and like, I got to give them props for that. Um, Cindy said, I have many glass bottles, none with crystal inserts in them, but they have a silicon, silicon cover over top. I've dropped a few, never broken, maybe could get something similar designed. Ooh, that's cool, Cindy. Can you tell us who your bottles are from? Um, Beautiful Intentions Crystal Grids, like your name, said you could cut one of the sleeves and put it over the neck. Just an idea. Hey, that's a good idea. Okay, Kyla said she has this bottle and absolutely loves it. Cool, good to know. Crystal said name of the company again is Gemstone Well. Gemstone Well. Hey, Audrey. There's our community manager, Audrey. Okay. Hey, Velda said Berry Boutiques has customization to your preference. She makes them herself. Who? Can you give us a link, Velda? I love to promote these companies who are doing a good thing. Yeah, Rhonda said, I guess you can put your stones directly in the water. You could, but then you're kind of wasting that empty pocket space at the bottom, right? And also the thing about that is when you throw the stones in and you're tipping the bottle back in the gym or whatever, those stones go knocking around in the glass bottle. And that cannot be, you know, a good thing. So when there's a lot of room and they're sliding back and forth, they end up also knocking into your teeth and could chip a tooth. <laughs> so, yeah, there's some logistics to think about there. Okay, Lindsay said, have a look at Bee Water. They do glass and plastic bottles with crystals, no plastic. Already inside, but they have loads of options at a price of between 20 and 30 pounds, I believe that. That's what that's saying. Okay, Karen said, how much water does it hold? I'm not sure on what the size is, but it's like the same size as most water bottles are. Audrey, you have one too? You have one of those? And she says, I love mine. Okay, people asking again the name of the company. It's Gemstone Well. Okay, Cindy said the water bottle brand with the silicone, it's silicone cover, are from Zulu, from Costco, and the others are from Life factory.com. Okay, she posted that in the comments if you want the link. Velda posted the link to Barry's Boutique. Okay, Shonda said Amazon lists it with a one-year warranty. Well, that's the thing when you purchase stuff from Amazon instead of directly from the company, you get different um, uh, warranties or no warranty at all or no guarantee, so I wouldn't buy it from Amazon. Dee Dee said, you remind me of Sarah Palin. I know, that wouldn't be the first time I've heard that. Uh, back when she was running for president, it's it was getting pretty ridiculous. I was asked to be an impersonator. I was like, no. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Because I had bangs at the time and used to wear it, like, just like her, it had no idea. I was doing it first, I think. Okay, Juanita asked, what stones do you use for migraines? Okay, Juanita, what I really, really like for that is black amethyst. So as dark as you can get it, really, really dark amethyst. It's like a dark, dark, dark purple, like midnight purple amethyst. And celestite, that combo I love for migraines, okay? I, I deal with them too. 
Not so much anymore. I had one the other day that came out of the blue and I haven't had a lot, one in a long, long time. Kind of threw me for a loop. I couldn't believe it. Okay. Lynn said, I'm so new to this. Do you have anything in writing so I can follow? I would love for you to follow me and join our crystal community. I have my blog. There's a lot there, hibiscusmoon.com. And hey, I like your kitty. It's got that chimera calico thing going just like topaz. My topaz is your kitty's like cousin. Um, and again, all of you that are saying you're not getting notifications of things, you didn't hear about this event, you didn't hear about this class, it's because you're not on my newsletter. So get on my newsletter, you'll get a gift. Lynn, I suggest this for you. Go to hibiscusmoongift.com, hibiscusmoongift.com. Okay, guys, this was fun. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope I've given you some ideas for making your own crystal-infused healing water. And I'll talk to you again next Wednesday at 1 o'clock Eastern time. Okay, everybody, have a great day. Crystal blessings. Bye-bye.